My name is Ron Slodek, and I am a historic preservation consultant and historian here in Fort Collins, standing today in front of the Great Western Sugar Company Effluent Flume and Bridge, which is located in Fort Collins in the Kingfisher Point natural area along the Poudre River Trail. So the bridge that we're standing in front of today was built back in the 1920s, and the reason it's here is because it was associated with Fort Collins Sugar Factory, which was built in 1903 by the Great Western Sugar Company. It really spurred the local economy for many, many years after the factory was built. The factory also employed a lot of immigrant laborers, Germans from Russia, a lot of Hispanic immigrants as well, and these people found jobs in the factory. You might know that site today because it's located just east of New Belgium. And that property today is occupied by the Fort Collins Streets Department. But much of that was torn down during the mid-1960s. The Great Western Sugar Company was geared toward producing refined sugar. What they were doing there was that they were bringing in sugar beets from the surrounding farms around Fort Collins. They were being hauled in by the farmers that uh, resulted in the production of refined sugar. What that also involved though, as with most factories, was the res resulting production of an effluent or a factory outflow, a waste product that have to be disposed of somewhere. So initially it was going into lagoons surrounding the plant. Over time though, those lagoons would fill up and they did fill up. And the company had to look to sending that waste effluent farther and farther away from the factory. So in 1926, the Great Western Sugar Company decided that they needed to get all those wastes south of the river onto the rest of the old house farm that they had purchased 10 years earlier. How do you get that waste across the river? You have to get it across by building a flume, and that flume had to be carried by a suspension bridge, which is what you see behind me here today. Underneath it was to hold the flume through which the slurry would pass to the south side of the river. And starting in 1926, the company began to push all that liquid slurry south of the river, and they started disposing of it into the fields that are southeast of here. By the mid-1950s, it became pretty apparent, and also because of regulatory changes regarding the sugar industry, and the importation of cane sugar became problematic as well for the company. The Fort Collins Sugar Factory was closed down in 1955 and never reopened. The bridge itself is really something remarkable in Colorado. There are only about 12 suspension bridges in the state that are here today. A few of those are older bridges, but a number of them are modern bridges and are not yet historic, nowhere near that. Among the older ones, the, the one that's best known is the Royal Gorge Bridge in southern Colorado, which was built in 1929, just three years after this bridge was built, and it was built as a tourist attraction. The bridge was put on the National Register of Historic Places in 2014, something that relates to our community's heritage, its agricultural heritage, its industrial heritage, and to celebrate the fact that we have a surviving element of that right here along the river. And it's managed today by the city of Fort Collins, especially the Natural Areas Department, which is managing it as a historic resource, and the Preservation Planning Office, which is also looking after its welfare. If you'd like to learn more about the bridge's history, the nomination of the bridge to the National Register of Historic Places is found on the preservation page of the city of Fort Collins website. There's also an interpretive sign along the trail where you can uh, walk over to the bridge a few feet away and see what it looks like in person.